Hey, how is everyone doing today? Uh, greetings from Bali. It's me, Renars. Uh, so it's been, what, three months almost I've been to Bali? Originally, I was supposed to be here for like three weeks. Here you go. And as more people you meet here, as more they say that, yeah, this has happened all the time. This happens all the time. People come here for a couple of weeks and they just kind of get stuck. The Bali magic. Um, so what happened since the last time I posted my video? I moved places. So I'm a different spot now. I'm very lucky. I have a very good friend of mine who um, said you can stay in my um, guest house. I'm still paying, but I think I got a very good deal. So I'm very happy for that. Um, I've been here almost two weeks now. And um, what has been going on? The last video I did is about a month, maybe even more. Uh, biggest thing was what happened, I think, in a, like in a major scale, is that I started doing stand-up. Yeah, stand-up, something that I always wanted to try, and I just got so lucky to to be able to join this uh, stand-up community, family, a bunch of crazy weirdos, <laughs> call them whatever you want here in, um, in Bali. And uh, it, it, they were just so welcoming and amazing people. And uh, they really helped me to understand what is stand-up in the sense of it's writing, it's rewriting, it's changing, it's, you know, how to figure out how to just have a structure of writing. It's uh, huge. I also did two days course, so I'm officially qualified <laughs> to do stand-up. Yeah, you can do stand-up now. There you go. I have a document. Um, so I've done four sets so far, some of them probably were better than the others, uh, but in general I, I'm happy that, you know, I never got booed off, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of um, uh, shows for something. So stand up, then um, also like finally, this is one of the microphones, uh, we get the mics for doing a podcast with Chris, um, what happened, uh, maybe you saw a video before, we were like, yes, we were to do the podcast, but then we realized we need pro proper microphones. And then we ordered all the, the entire set and uh, there were some parts missing. And here in Indonesia, unfortunately, this is not Amazon or eBay, they're going to be next day delivery. And uh, so uh, Chris ordered some parts and uh, they arrived, but they were the wrong parts. So today I actually spent pretty much whole day trying to figure out how what is the other way we can record the sound, and I think I think I got I got the um, answer to this. So we're gonna try it tomorrow. Hopefully we're gonna have our first podcast when we have a guest uh, with proper mics and all that. So that's another kind of project we're working on. Um, what else? What else? Um, surfing is uh, getting a little bit better. I'm trying to do it almost every other day. Uh, I got very, very lucky that I have a buddy, uh, Carlos, who is from Stand Up uh, uh, Community as well, and he has like 150 boards. No, he has seven boards, and he's like, you can borrow one of these. We well, had a couple of drinks after he allowed me to do it. <laughs> he's like, oh yes, no, you can take that one. <laughs> so then I have my own board, and I'm more flexible, and I don't need to rent the boards, and you know pay all that money so surfing uh, Bali MMA is going on as well trying to go every other day or every day whether I do a Muay Thai more like kickboxing for me and the other days I do uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, the goal ultimate goal is to try to do two back-to-back uh, -back in the morning which is a bit tough but I will see if I can do this next week um, so to do Muay Thai and straight away BJJ and uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu tough you know I've done it like what months and a half now still you know I'm, I know I'm getting better but still tough so a lot of respect to everyone who does a BJJ and probably one of the craziest things would happen was uh, I was quite sick actually and that was another reason why I can say that I didn't do this video just to tell what's going on um, was I thought I self-diagnosed myself I thought I got a dengue fever dengue fever you get from these mosquitoes um, and uh, I self, uh, self diagnosed myself and the first time it happened it's basically like these episodes of like four or five days you have this horrible fever and then and then uh, you just muscle pain like and then you just drowsy walking around and so that's what happened with me and I thought yeah like looking at Google that's what it is and uh, apparently that shit can come back for another two times and that's what happened I was like yeah most likely I have dengue 
But then the third time happened, I was like, what if it's not fucking dengue? So I just, um, I just, um, I'm very, very lucky to have a friend, Gary. Shout out to Gary, my man. Um, he had a contact of this doctor. And I was like, okay, I need to go give an analysis and just see what's going on. And the guy straight away told me it's not dengue. And I was like, fuck, so what the hell do I have? And uh, what it was, it was salmonella. I have two types of salmonella. So salmonella, usually you think, oh, it's like, you know, you're going to have diarrhea, you're vomiting, all that stuff. I had none of that. Um, but instead I had this horrible fever. Uh, but he says there's like eight different types of salmonella. So you got two of them. Lucky you. <laughs> And uh, it was, to think about it, I lost pretty much 15 days of my life, you know, just being in pain and uh, it's, yeah. So anyone who comes to Indonesia or any exotic countries, you know, if you feel sick, just go see a doctor. Don't fucking Google your, and do your own diagnosis. I'm a perfect example for that. And that's about it. Uh, that's about it. But I just kind of a nutshell quickly wanted to tell you guys. Um, probably last thing, like today, all of us in Bali are staying at home because today, uh, it, it, this day is called Nyepi. So everyone stays at home because it's a silence day, a day of silence. So there's no cars in the roads. You're not allowed to leave your house. You can come from one house to another, to one household to another. And this morning what happened is just crazy. This morning I opened my door and I see here in the kitchen outside, I have a dish of like lovely food. I was like, what the hell? And the first thing I thought, oh, it's probably my my my, my uh, maid who is in charge of this uh, property. I thought maybe she's like, oh, because Nepi can't leave, she's gonna bring me some food. And then later I saw her and she's like, no, I didn't bring you any food. I was like, shit, what hell's going on? So apparently, this uh, between the Nepi, it's a pretty cool thing. People like neighbors bring each other food. And I had this, upper, <laughs> and she came up, came later to bring a, to pick up her um, plate, and she spoke Russian, and I was like, I was like, start talking English with her, because very often people just assume that I speak speak Russian, but she's like, only speaks Russian, and then I was like, oh, okay, I'll start speaking Russian and and thank her so much, and um, yeah, very lovely lady. So this, you know, these kind of things are going on here in Bali and almost every other week there are different kind of ceremonies and different, it's a lot, very spiritual, there's a lot of uh, like how they believe in spirits basically in Bali here. So, you know, almost in every corner you're going to see a temple and they always do these offerings in the morning. So like a little kind of a cup of, uh, I don't know how to explain, this is like a carbon little uh like a box opened and they put different things in there like cigarettes like all sorts of offerings and shit um yeah so that's pretty cool well this is what's been going on for last oh that's lightning so it's a rainy season still uh still rains quite a lot but still we have quite nice and hot days and um, last thing i want to just say like i feel very grateful being here instead of being in uh, london uh, but at the same time, I'm missing stunt work. So film industry is back and, and, and running. Um, so the other thing what I did, I applied for a visa, which takes a while to arrange and I have to be here. And it takes about two months to be all, you know, sorted. So as soon as I get that visa, uh, then I'm probably going to go to UK uh, for some work. And, you know, it's been a while. <laughs> it's it's going to be four months, uh, which was supposed to be three weeks. So that's about it, guys. Um, yeah, stay safe, do your thing, and uh, come to Bali when when you can. It's quite interesting. Probably one of the biggest things about Bali is just it's just a combination of all these pretty cool people, you know, like finding this comedy, uh, uh, finding this comedy family and this community. I'm I'm just you know frabbled, flabbergasted how lucky I am. And other thing would also, oh, just to add, uh, we start doing quiz nights as well. So there's places where I go with the questions, I make them up, and, and then uh, you do quiz nights. Pretty cool. That's something that I did back in the UK. That's what's going on here. So stay safe and uh, yeah. <laughs>